adventure. This is what's so fun about this whole thing. You know what I mean? Like meeting new people, uh, getting to know know new people, and uh, and just a part of the whole you know buying process is it's exciting for me. Plus, if I can give the potential seller what they want and it's fair, then it's a win-win for all of us. I was referred to him by one of my other friends, so uh, which is super shout out to my friend who. Uh, hooked me up with this lead uh, but uh, hey you never know I might make more friends with this guy there's a beetle too no yeah yeah there's a little truck yeah a little beetle truck It's got a bus run in, it's got a bus transactional. It's been morphed. It's, oh yeah, this thing's been through. Yeah, we use it on the ranch here. Heck yeah. I used to drive it all over Ben, but now I can't keep them all registered. Oh, yeah. sure, yeah. But I've had this one in the family since 1975. That's we great. first built it. And uh, it's been through a million, a million lives. We call it about um, it needs an interior. It needs rubber and it needs an interior. All the brake lines, the brakes, the motor's new. I did, I built it for my daughter. She started the bakery business in Christie, Colorado. Brand new stock 1600. Okay. I did put a new carburetor and alternator. Yep. Um, I hated the generator. So you got a 28 pick carb on there? Um, I'm, I think it's, it might be a 31. I can't remember what size it is, honestly. It's been a while. That's not a big deal. Uh, no rust underneath the battery. Oh, there. I actually have the uh, the original battery air cleaner for okay. this. So that's cool that it didn't get chopped. Yeah, yeah, no, that. that's still there. No, the battery did have a little rust in, uh, in the battery box, and I can't remember what the deal was, there's a little fiberglass repair on that, but um, let's see, this this corner had it down. This was the dent right here. Okay, so that's where they're at. That's the body. worst, yeah. The worst of the worst. And uh, underneath the floor mats. Floor mats. Uh, So, you know, the dash, um, the dash doesn't have any cracks in it, which is pretty good. Yeah. There's a brand new headliner for okay. it okay, that I ha just don't have time to be. I, I this can't, is the original. I'm going to Mexico here in a couple of months, and I don't have time to finish it. I'll pay for your vacation. Yeah, yeah. Before you put it in. Okay, yeah, there's no rust underneath. The, no, uh, actually, no. Yeah. Front end never got smacked too hard. Sliding doors, check the floor. Got all the seats. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Well, we'll have to put the original stock panels on. Yeah, yeah. so Double it's got mats. the. But it's a good. It's got good bones. Huh? It's got good it's bones. It's got good right, That's right. Yeah. This is a good car to finish. Right, right. It, it's. I, I, I feel real good about that. The roots, this original paint. Wow. Um, the roost never had any dents on it. Um, well, it's a good. I love the fact that it's a it's a first year bay. It is a first year. It's a bay. deluxe. Yeah. Is it Mr. And like I said, I have an original air cleaner that I'll trade you if you want. I would trade you for that. Huh? The I would trade you for the yeah. original. Yeah. Yeah. You'd like it. It's got yeah. the rubber, the long yep. rubber piece. Yep. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Uh huh. How many miles do you think are on the motor? I'd say 2,500. 2,500. Okay. Yeah. 
And you built this yourself? Yep. Okay. Yep. Cool. A friend of mine did the machining on it. Okay. This stuff comes right of off course. with an air. Uh, air I kind of like. I kind of think it's. The, That's the what butt. Mike said. He goes, you know? leave it on. I go, yeah, should I take it off? Yeah, he goes, no, no man, yeah. leave it on. And honestly, like Mark can give me some of those newspaper clippings I could send you away. Because I know, I, I know that, that that makes it look a lot cooler. It yeah, tells the story. This is yeah, no, I'll, I, I, I'll show this you on my phone. Oh, okay, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know, all this undercoat, and you can see how original it is. Oh, this yeah. stuff saved the day, man. Well, that's the undercoating, you know. I mean, that's the first telltale sign, whether it's, right. you know, how, how many different paints are right. that. So, you know, it's been, it's, but, you know. You know, you know what to do on that. Oh, yeah. I'll keep the, you know, the body is not, I'm not even going to mess with that. Yeah. The interior, you know, is the only thing that I'm going to mess with, and that's yeah. what's important to me. I'd maybe rub the paint out I'll or something. I'll buff it out. Buff, no it, out. buff it out. Buff it out, no doubt. Might put on different tires or rims, I don't know. Maybe. I'll keep those because those are stock 68 Those rims. are the stock 68 yes. rims? Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. want to get Yeah. That. Um, what else is this thing here? Yeah. Oh, the spare tire. No spare Let's tire see tire if covered. there's a jack in there. I got a bunch of those. Yeah, there's a the jack. Okay. Here's this headliner. So is this a used headliner? No, it's brand new. It's just oh. been sitting in my shop forever and dirty. So oh, that's underneath. It's that's never cool. been used. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, that's so good. that'll fit this box. That's Perfect. what it's for. But when I get the windows out, I'll take the I'll take the headliner out and we'll just we'll just do it right. Oh. This is some of my tool kit. Oh yeah, now these are cool. So these are uh let's see. VW. Yeah, these issue. are VW. Yeah. This is a VW. I'd look kind of like to keep these. Yeah, yeah. Take them because I have a bunch of these, to yeah. be honest with you. I've yeah, got, actually, got though, this goes them. with the jack. Yep. So, okay. This goes with me. And uh, so that's the car spare tire. I think there's one in there. Yep. Yeah, I'm not sure what kind of shape it's in. Well, uh, what else do I have? Any other parts? Well, oh, that air cleaner. Let's look for that. Yeah, let's let's fire. So, yeah. yeah. Take it for a drive. Okay. Yeah, yeah. you wouldn't mind. No. You can look for that air cleaner. No. Leg room. It's a, it's a necessity when you're in my Come room. Come on, baby. That's what I like to hear. The motor's are really, that's a really strong single port. Colorado? I drove it to Colorado and back. I was the only VW on the road there and back. But you end up with a trip. Dude. That's cool. It's like going back in time. Oh, it's really, really fun. Road, yeah. Yeah, my daughter wanted me to tow it out on the trailer we have, and I go, no, I'm going to drive it. I, I have to pay. It's also warming up. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't driven it. 
I mean, since I got back from Colorado last oh. year, I've started it maybe five times. Okay, yeah, so that's so, not a big deal. You know, you might, you might check. Really, I, I go into the Jerry and Gary's once in a while for parts. Yeah, I think uh, Gary used to do the water cooled, and Jerry yeah, or am I backwards? No, you're you're exactly yeah. correct. Gary did the water cooled. And, and uh, but I was real really sad to hear that he passed. Yeah, I was at his death. I was on his deathbed with him. Wow. Um, said my goodbyes and uh, uh, went to his funeral. You know, all of the old school people were there. Yeah, no, he funeral. was a mainstay. Those two. Right. They stuck it out forever. There's yeah. not a lot of Ben guys left. No, there's not. Yeah. They're yeah. such a simple clean. They, uh, you know them. They have no mechanic or no yeah. electric. Oh, there's yeah. no power steering. There's no radiator. There's yeah. no, you it's just got basic. the gas tank and you've got the motor. Wow. And then I built that one in 2010. And, uh, that one's and that's, that one I drive as my daily driver. And I drive it everywhere. And it, it, I'll be gone for three months. <laughs> But as far as how it ran, I mean, that thing was just super strong. I mean, he said 1600 sickle core. Well, it may look like a 1600 sickle core, but I think it's bigger than that. Uh, whether it's a 1641, he said 1650, but 1650? Uh, you know, from 1968 to 1971, those are, in my opinion, the best years of the bus, of the Bay bus, in terms of look, right? 71, I just watched that. doesn't have a catch to it. It just bounces. Now just from people who've been in this industry for 50 years that I never even knew, you know, just when you think you know everything, which I certainly know, you get to learn from these people. But they do respect the passion that I have, the passion that goes along with. Adjust that carburetor, it's backfiring. Um, it definitely feels like it's running pretty lean right now, so it just needs to be adjusted. Uh, definitely uh, gonna hit the uh, headliner, gonna remove all of the window seals, um, put in new rubber all the way around, and then uh, attack the back bench seats, those need to be reupholstered. But honestly, that's it. This bus is super solid. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. Those running because it's in this volume of heat. And then, of course, probably get new rubber that goes down in here. Mm -hmm. There's just little tiny things. Like, I mean, we've got the mattress here, we've got the rubber that goes around here that needs to be placed. Get all new door pan or panels all the way around. You know, just little stuff. But there's not a lick of rust on this bus. This is pretty old rubber right here and yet it's the deluxe rubber and it's still has a lot of life left in these little chrome trim pieces here a lot of times we take these things off and if they're in good enough shape we preserve them and we put those the new rubber back on now you can do it california style which is fine it doesn't come with the chrome trim but i want to keep it bone stock original as much as possible so we'll go through the process of putting this stuff back on <laughs> 